Continuing with our M1A maintenance series, in this final video, we'll be covering reassembly. We'll start by inserting the bolt, rear end first, into the top of the receiver. It goes in at an angle the same way it came out, and sometimes it takes a bit of maneuvering to get it to slide into place. Once the bolt is in the receiver, it can be moved to its rearmost position. Next, to install the op rod, start the front end into its guide beneath the barrel. Then line up the retaining lug at the rear with the disassembly notch in the side of the receiver and guide it into the track. Make sure the bolt is far back enough so that the roller will fit into its recess in the op rod. Once in position, the op rod should be free to slide back and forth and the bolt should move with it. With the bolt and op rod installed, the front of the recoil spring can be inserted into the op rod tube with the guide toward the rear and the small pointed part of the guide pointed upward. Pull the locking connector out to make room for the guide, and then compress the guide and spring until the rear of the guide can be lowered into the slot in the receiver. Once it's in place, pull it slightly toward the front until the locking connector can be pushed back in to lock it in place. Now the barrel receiver group is ready to put back into the stock. To do so, place the front of the stock under the lip and the barrel band to secure the front, and then ease the action into the rear of the stock until it's fully seated. Next, turn the gun around and lower the trigger group into the stock while taking care to line up the guides on each side at the front with the corresponding grooves in the receiver. The trigger group should slide straight down and rest on the stock if it's lined up correctly. Then all that remains is to press down on the trigger guard until it snaps in at the rear, locking the assembly into place. At this point, the gun is fully assembled. Cycle the action and make sure everything operates normally and that the safety is working properly. Then give the whole gun a final wipe down and the job is done. By following these simple tips, you'll be able to quickly and easily maintain your M1A and M14. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit brownells.com today for more how-to articles and videos along with all the firearms, accessories and tools.